So I've been working on my Tiny Tina costume, which is turning out really well, but I have to burn a lot of the edges, and now my entire room smells of burnt, which is awful. Geeks of the Week! Hey guys, it's Monday, and welcome to another week of Geeks of the Week. I'm Steph, and as always, I'm going to dress my other geeks first, and then we can get to the topic at hand. So Pyro asked us a question last week, and that was about YouTubers helping with feature-length films. And while I don't think we need amateur YouTubers making movies, I do believe that we need actual fans involved in a lot of the films. The reason that the Marvel movies work so well is that there's actually only one guy behind the entire thing, and he is a Marvel buff. Like, that was his job. He was a fan of Marvel way before they started doing the movies, and he worked there, and he is now the one single person behind the entire cinem cinematic universe that they have going on. Um, and that's one of the reasons why DC and any other kind of um, comic book movie isn't working, because they don't have that one person who actually knows all the stories, all the history, and all the characters, and they need somebody like that in order to make some more solid superhero and comic type movies. Lulu, I feel like I can listen to you talk about women in comics all day, so I really hope you start doing more of those videos in the future. Mario, I really like that pumpkin you have in the background. It's fat, it's happy, and it reminds me of an oddish, and I want it. Nikki, I'm really happy you had a great time at the convention, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all the new pictures you were talking about, and I still think you should upload a video this Friday, just with like a shitty cell phone video, because I miss you on Fridays if you're not here, and that makes me sad. So a couple weeks ago, um, me and the rest of the geeks were just kind of chatting about what we're kind of known for, and like our niches within the channel, and it came up again that I really don't have one. I'm kind of like all over the place. And Mario was like, oh, you're the fashionable geek. That was clearly my impression of Mario. <laughs> Which is a really nice thing to say, but I'm not really sure how I can convey that into a video. But we talked and now I came up with this kind of mini video about geek chic. Maybe? I don't know if these are going to happen more often, but this first episode is actually all about the staple item in most geek nerd closets, and that is the geeky t-shirt. So sorry guys, this is a lady geared video, but as to not discriminate, you are welcome to try out the tips and tricks that I point out in this video. Alright, so let's start off with the basics. You first got your t-shirt, your jeans, and sneakers. The easiest way to glam up a basic outfit is to get rid of the sneakers. You don't need to wear heels. These ballet flats work just fine. Throw in a few accessories to help snazz things up a bit too. A necklace, a ring or two, a bracelet, or a bow all help jeans and t-shirts become a little more girly. If you have a shirt that's a little loose, try belting it. Other accessories you might consider depending on the weather are scarves or hats. Instead of just throwing on a hoodie, try a nice cardigan or sweater or maybe a blazer. If you want to get away from jeans, try a nice pair of shorts instead. You can do a skirt too. Leave it out for a more casual look or tuck it in for a splash of sophistication. Adding tights or socks can also give your outfit an extra pop. Mix and match different looks to create a shirt for any and all occasions. Find a look that's right for you to create a geek chic style that's all your own. So hopefully some of that kind of helped. Um, I'm not trying to say that jeans, t-shirts, and converse are bad because I love all jeans and t-shirts and converse. Um, I'm just not always able to wear them. And some days I just like to look a little nicer but still not have to buy a bunch of new clothes in order to look nice. I can use my nerdy shirts that I love and wear proudly but I kind of want to girl them up a bit. And I kind of want to wear some of them to work and it's a more acceptable way of wearing them than just jeans, t-shirt, and converse. So I hope that gives some of you fine ladies out there some inspiration to go out and get your own geek chic on. And you know what? We have a Facebook page that you can post all of your awesome outfits on. So I really encourage all of you ladies to go and post on our page because I would love to see them. That being said, make sure to check out the other geeks this week. Um, we obviously have Facebook because I just said that. 
And I guess I will see you guys next Monday. Yeah, I'm going to go with next Monday. Probably next Monday. Okay, bye.